Och vi är faktiskt tre syskon som har kommit hela vägen från Sverige. What he's saying is that we are three siblings all the way from Sweden who's here to play in America. And we are so excited to be here! Yeah. Hi, I'm Nick and I'm here with Lindy. How did you get on this massive American tour? We've been touring in Europe for a long time, like for our whole lives. We've been working in, and our father, he's a promoter in Sweden. So he's been having the contacts over here and... We have Crowder, we have Lecrae, we, yeah. I mean so many yeah. folks on this tour. Who are some of the folks that you've looked up to in American music? I mean, I, I found Lecrae's music when I was like 12 years old, back in Sweden. And that was my introduction to Christian hip hop. So through him I found other artists and stuff. So. I mean, the the 12 year old me back in Sweden never thought we were going to be on a arena tour in in the U.S. together. Yes. Yeah. Talk about the weather in Sweden right now. We've had some really odd weather mm -hmm. in America, and so it's dark quite a bit. Of it the, is. Yes. So every year we have snow and we are cold, <laughs> um, but and, and it, it gets dark. dark. <laughs> yeah, it gets yeah. dark where we live at like 3 p.m in the afternoon. Yes, now I <laughs> talked to a friend of yours, Tommy Iceland, yes. and we talked Love a lot him. about Sweden and what yeah. it was like growing up there. Mm -hmm. Now, sloshing through the snow with sound equipment is a whole different story, right? It is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. But, I mean, when you're from Sweden, you, you have to get used to whatever weather, and it yeah. can change in like a day. Yeah. Uh, so you need to be ready for whatever. So yeah. one random day in March, there'll be like total chaos of snow. Yeah, and you, you'll snow have yeah. snow, rain, sun, everything. <laughs> all, in in, all in yeah. one day, probably, yeah. yeah. So what are some of the messages that you're getting from your folks back home about you being in America, oh, wow. really like living the dream, really? Yes. Yeah, I mean, the response has been crazy. Yes. Uh, really. Um, they're behind us, supporting us, and yes. they're praying for us. We're so encouraged from everyone at home, seeing what we do, and just supporting us, and uh, yeah, they, they really help us. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, post everything, we want to see yeah. everything, just post all the time. We're like, okay, we will. <laughs> we will, yeah. <laughs> so do you have a moment in your set where you teach a little Swedish? To the audience, Ooh, we, we do, do in our uh, like after our set, we have a video of us, and then we say we love you in Swedish, which is vi älskar er. Oh, we love yes. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk a little bit more about pulling the songs and your set list together. How difficult was that for you guys to? choose the songs. Mm -hmm. mm, it was it, really it was kill difficult. your darlings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what did you say kill your darlings? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean we're, we're used to doing like concerts that are like one hour back home. Yes. And for this tour when they were like you really need to dig in and see which songs do we really want to present when we're over here. Yes. Uh, trying to get a blend of different styles of songs and um, different types of messages that we want to present. So uh, we started with picking out which songs and then we kind of arranged it's a dream come true. Yeah, it is. It really is. It really, really is. Well, welcome to America. Thank you. In this capacity, we're mm -hmm. so glad you're here bringing hope mm -hmm. to America. You know, that alone. Think about that banner that you're waving. You know, you're yeah. waving that for those folks that are so proud of you back home in Sweden, uh, that they're seeing you bring hope to this nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. We're just <laughs> grateful that we get to be part of this amazing tour, because everything is really about Jesus yes and you can feel that in every single artist set wow. that they just all point to Jesus and we just are so grateful that we get to be a little part of that so yes and we've incredible. we've had the like hope for the future in our hearts for such a long time especially for our generation because at least back home in Sweden there's been so much we have a lot of problems with mental health we have in Sweden has a big problem with like gang violence right now and there's just so much going on with environmental crisis and stuff and we just feel like there's so much negativity put on our generation and we just want to say that there is hope we're not just totally lost we have a hope we have God mm. and that's just what we want to want to represent 
Do you feel like being in Sweden, which is really relatively unchurched in this generation, yes, a lot. do you feel like they maybe even shame you for bringing a gospel message? Um, as you said, like Sweden is like one of the most secularized countries in the world. Um, so growing up there, you're kind of used to that environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like in school, you can be like the only Christian in your class. In your football team, you're the only Christian most of the times. So I think the Christians are pretty used to that. But that also brings that if you're Christian, you're hardcore. Yes. You're all in in Sweden because that like in between uh, doesn't really get you anything back home. Yeah, people aren't just Christians because of the culture. culture. Yeah. So if you're a Christian, you really have experienced that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then, um, yeah, as you said, I mean, for us, like bringing the gospel, uh, that can really, it can be challenging, but also people can be really open because uh, they don't really have like uh, preconceived thoughts about the church from yes. before. Maybe our concert is like their first introduction to faith. Uh, because yes. they're not used to going to church so I mean it's a big opening uh, but it's also a big like wall you need to get through first yes so yeah it's a challenge and uh, an opportunity at the same time people are very much more open I think to God and just spiritual here than at home yes yeah. and I pray too that you won't get jaded about um, the American faith because it can be so cultural for us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you probably think oh this is a great Christian and you find out oh they're just where it's a cultural thing and it's probably just a little bit of a mind bender mm -hmm. to you guys saying okay wait okay now there's different kinds of nuances mm -hmm. of Christian faith mm -hmm. you know yes. but we are so glad we're here as well and we get yes. so many so much inspiration from so many people that we've met so it's it's been great being here but you guys know Toby Mac, you yeah. know his music, and who are some other American artists that you like in the Christian genre? Lecrae, you'd mentioned. Yeah. Wow, well, there's a lot. Yeah. I, I am also a big fan of hip hop and like R&B, so we have a few friends like Evan and Eris, we've been listening to a lot. Yeah. And yes. yeah. And we, we've been growing up like with gospel music, so yes. Kirk and Israel Houghton and those types also. Um, I mean, all, everything from gospel like to worship and CCM, we kind of listen to everything, so, yes. yeah. That's what makes a great artist, <laughs> studying well, music, you know? Yeah. We just love music, so we, li we listen to everything. Yeah. Yes. So grateful to have Lindy here in America, and uh, you guys are going to be great on stage tonight and throughout Hopefully. this tour. <laughs> Blessings to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you. So. Always been traveling as a family because we've been touring our whole lives back in Europe. Yes. Uh, so this is the first U.S. tour, and we just, we do all, everything together. Um, so they're also involved in our set and in yeah in the traveling in the merch everything we yes. just do everything together. So. I it's a family love thing. that yeah. family thing. Uh, speaking of family things, coming out in April is a family film called Unsung Hero. Mm -hmm. I don't know wow. if you guys know for King and Country. Yeah, yeah, we yes. heard about it. We met their father. Yes, David. Uh, yeah. Yes. yeah. And we had a really great meeting with him. And oh, he yes. was so kind. and So just much shared, encouragement. So much encouragement. And just share like, what it's like being a family moving from yes. another country to the States. Yes. Uh, we haven't moved here yet, but yes. we'll see in the future what happens. But he had a lot of great advice and just like, yeah, yeah just uh, encouraged us to stay true to what God has told us. So, Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is perfect advice. So they're so yeah. great. It is. <laughs> hey! I'm Dennis. I'm Ella. I'm Emmy. And, and we are Lean D. And you're, you're listening, listening to Band Kai. Thank you so much.